give you a little bit of help here on this uh, second week. After talking to some of you all, I, I think we're, not everybody, but a few of you all mentioned that you were having a little trouble kind of coming to terms with exactly what we were going. And, and in a new course like this where you're reading and you're not listening to someone, sometimes it's a little bit hard, I think. So let me see if I can give you a boost. Uh, we're in week two. And basically, the difference between week two and week one is you're going to start looking at different ways to make art in week two. Now, week one, we mainly wanted you to understand the quality of art in terms of elements and principles, those design concepts that let us know what, how to make that image really say what you want it to say, how to make your viewer see the thing that you want them to see. Now, a lot of us do it intuitively, and I saw that by some of the projects you showed me, but there's still that need to know, not about intuitive, but to know exactly what buttons you need to push to get the results you want to get, all right? So, week two, we're talking about what is art made of, I think. So if you go over to that left-hand little thing, uh, the menu, and click on what is art made of, this is something that should come up. And it basically introduces you to the concept of what art is. The word medium in art uh, is, in fact, one medium, media is plural, refers to what that art is made of. So if I talked about medium, I might be talking about oil painting, I might be talking about uh, carving uh, marble. The medium would be whatever you're working in, the paint or the marble, and the approach, of course, would be all up to you, wouldn't it? So anyway, we're talking basically in these particular or very general areas. We're talking about 2D forms. That's something we call graphic, which would be anything on a piece of paper or a flat surface. 3D forms, anything sculptural or with that third dimension. Not just the appearance of, or not the appearance of, but in fact the actual 3D solid form. Architecture and interior design, and some of you are, dis are in the middle of studying an interior design, so you know about that. Ephemeral art is a kind of a different concept, and I think you'll enjoy looking at that. And then, of course, we also want to know the difference between fine art and applied art. And I hope that we can make that very clear as we go along, all right? So let's look first at 2D forms, all right? 2D forms, as I told you, is pretty much about graphic. That's a 2D surface. Basically, when we used to talk about graphic art, we talked about anything that was done on a 2D surface. If you talk about a graphic designer, that means they're going to they're be designing something on a flat form, a flat surface, paper, billboard, programs, whatever, but it's flat, okay? Now, drawing is probably the easiest and, easiest and most immediate way to get some kind of art form. Doodling, some of you all talked about your doodling. I doodle, that everybody doodles. Picking up a pencil and just making marks, all right? Um, there are lots of characteristics about drawing, and this is where you would go to find out about those characteristics. And when it came up, you will see that what you're going to get is a PDF. Now, hopefully your, your uh, machine is set up so you can do that. And when you get the PDF, this is what it's kind of going to look at. And it talks about the different media. It talks about charcoal. Uh, it talks about the disadvantages, the advantages. gives you a couple of, of pictures. There are four of these. And it talks about pencil. Isn't this a beautiful, beautiful drawing here in pencil? Um, it's in the Louvre. It's by Parmigiano. And uh, it's a red chalk on paper. Beautiful. Um, for some reason, it's here with pencils, but I, I guess Certainly you can do a chalk pencil, can't you? Uh, ink, that's where you get that nice, loose, painterly look. And lastly, pastels, which is, in a lot of layman's terms, just chalk again, okay? Only usually it has something in it called binder. Now, the pigment you're going to find in a lot of this is all the same, but the binder is something that holds that pigment. In other words, you talk about something like okra, Ochre, not okra, but ochre, O-C-H-R-E. Ochre, o -C -H -R -E. ochre, uh, ochre is a, uh, a clay pigment almost. You, could, you can actually put your hand down in the dirt and you can find a color that's very close to what this color, right? Oh, if you can see my, my cursor move now that it's become that, I'm not sure. 
uh, if you can see my cursor move around there, it's that yellowish kind of dirty yellow look, all right? And if you picked up some ochre clay, you could actually put it with a binder. You could put it with anything that we consider a binder. You could put it with oil, just linseed oil, and you could make oil paint out of it. You could put it with some kind of a glue medium, and you could make an acrylic paint out of it. So, or you could keep it dry and put it with just a tiny little bit of medium, uh, and it would hold it, and you could make your own pastel or crayon out of it, okay? So that's kind of an interesting thing, I think, to be aware of. So this is what happens when you hit the drawing, um, and that's where this particular discussion on 2D art is going to be. Uh, here it talks a little bit more about the binder and the pigment. So read through that and see what you can say about 2D, 2D art. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the collages. The other, well, I ought to finish the 2Ds, I guess. Another form of 2D art is collage and mosaic. Collage, of course, is where you're going to glue stuff together. Mosaic is where you stick or, or you glue down little particles, maybe tile or pieces of glass or even pieces of metal or pieces of, of uh, rock, and you make these wonderful pictures. Um, that's mosaic. Uh, printmaking. Anytime you can get an image from one you've already got made up, if, if I were to take, for an example, my favorite example is when you were a kid and you used to make potato prints, right? Take a potato, you carve around on it with a potato carver or peeler, and then you put some ink on the end of that potato and you stamp it and you make a picture. That's a print. There are lots of different ways of making prints. It's an old art form. It's attributable to the Chinese in the ninth century. All of this is about that. So read through about printing. Find out what relief printing is. You'll find that's a surface in Taglio. It's kind of interesting. Mostly these are going to be etchings that we talked about. Um, and then just graphic design. And this is where if you're a computer person, and most of us are, we wouldn't be here. This is where you're going to do a lot of, of graphic design today. Um, here's a page layout design. And that would be one of a logo design, a package design. Uh, web design. All of these are graphic designs, okay? So read a little bit about that and you'll have, hopefully, a nice feeling about what we're talking about when we talk about 2D forms of art. We're still going to talk about things like unity and balance and point of emphasis or focal point. We're going to talk about elements, color, line, shape, that kind of thing. All of those things are still very much a part of what we're talking about and considering, but now we're considering them in these different things that art is made up from. All right? I'll talk with you some more when we talk about 3D art.